You were such a live wire, an innovator, a renaissance man with so much to offer the world. But the Creator, in his unfathomable ways, has called you by his side. Enough, Kofi. Come lay your weary soul, for you've paid your dues to the mortal world in droves. Charles was a close relation of mine and also a friend, confidant, and colleague in the arts. He loved his nation, Ghana, and was passionate about unearthing the great potential our heritage and culture had to offer the world. He painted, acted, and strode the stage with gusto and verve. He will be remembered for his outstanding and virtuoso performances in the classic award-winning films such as Heritage Africa, African Timber, and No Time to Die, amongst others, and the many television productions he appeared in. Many will recall his remarkable talent in script writing and producing adverts, enhanced by his sonorous voice. Kofi was first and foremost a gentleman who loved his wife, children, and family dearly and extended his warmth to all. I worked with him on a film set with plans for many more. For any time we met, we brainstormed and shared ideas on the arts. As family, we were proud of our lineage and very grateful to our parents and ancestors for making us who we were. His favorite comment any time we were together was, we are like that, meaning that as kin, we were blessed. Kofi was blessed, and we, his family, friends, admirers, and the many, this kind, this kind gentle, affable, and extremely capable, soul touched, will miss and never forget him. Charles Kofi Babatunde Bokno, the year, Yawa Ujubang, rest in perfect peace. Amen.